Hi guys, today's project's been set by Andy Liam Stone. He wants a fan driven car that reverses when it hits a wall. So these are my components. For the fan I'm going to use one of my hairdryer motors that's got a fan on it already. There is a problem in that they're designed to go one way so we don't get as much thrust out of it if I reverse the power but hopefully there'll be enough. If there isn't I'll have to think of something different. I'm going to use barbecue skewers for various pits. Got some aluminium foil, I'm going to need that. I've also got a couple of bits of flat springy metal uh, which you probably could cut from a tin can or a drinks can or something like that. I got these from somewhere else but that's all you need. Fairly springy bits of metal. Going to need some cardboard. Not much. I'm going to make the chassis out of some of these plastic storage containers. I say some, I only need one of them. And the wheels I'm going to make from the um, spools inside these old VHS cassette tapes. There's my four wheels. I could split each one in half so you get two wheels from each spool but I'm not going to bother this time. But I have got rather a lot of um, tape now but I'm afraid that just goes in the bin. I can't think of anything useful for it. This little black piece in the middle here is a little bearing piece. It's only plastic. If you carefully cut the top of it off, you've actually got a hole underneath which gives you the centre so you can drill a hole nicely. Just a handy little tip that. So we get the hole right in the middle, which is handy. Okay, holes drilled. Put all the um, barbecue skewers in place just so I can check everything fits. Make sure the wheels don't rub against each other. Right, now for the fun. I need to try and glue this onto the barbecue skewer. I've made a mark on both skewers so I get the same position. I'm going to use some contact adhesive. So that's what I want. I need to do the same on that one now. That's the bumper in place. I'm just wondering if I can use these pieces of metal that came out of the VHS cassette tape cases to make the contacts. Soldered some wires onto my hairdryer fan and I've crimped them onto these metal plates because whatever these metal plates are made of they're not the sort of metal that accepts solder so I've had to crush the end on and squeeze it in place. I've cut some little slots in the top so those are going to go through there. There's my battery positive to there, negative to there Positive to there, negative to there. Test run time. Yeah. 
didn't hit the wall hard enough then. So, summary time. What have we got? We've got a fan driven car that reverses when it hits the wall. The fan is one of my hair dryer fans. Uh, chassis is a storage box or container. The wheels are the spools from VHS video cassette tapes. Those strips of metal also came out of the VHS video cassette tapes, so they were quite handy. They're a little bit springy, which is just what I needed. And then what we've got is the bumper with bits of aluminium foil wrapped around it with a break in the middle. So we've got, I can't remember which way it is, but let's say positive that side, negative that side, positive that side, negative that side. So what we have is the motor is connected to positive and negative there. Actually, let's say positive and negative there. Then the bumper slides and it's connected to the other ones. Can't really do that. I haven't got enough hands. Let's see if we can bring it in closer and you might be able to see the effect. If my finger's the contact, if I hold it still, there you go. Positive, negative, positive, negative. I actually need to move it back a bit. There we go. And that's what's happening when the car goes forwards and backwards. Well, I put some drinking straws through it to keep the wires away from the axles so they didn't actually foul the axles. But there we are, a success. The only problem I do have is, as I said, the fans aren't really designed to go backwards so there's not so much power when it's going backwards as there is forwards. So unless it gets a really good run there isn't enough power to actually fully push the bumper through. See, that's not enough of a run-up to get going. If we give it a bit of a push... That'll do, I think. I need to open it to break the contacts because I didn't bother to put a switch in it. Job done.